But uh, joining us now from Mauritius to discuss the work of the Center for Phytotherapy Research is Amina Gurib Fakim, pro uh, professor as well as managing director of managing director of the center. Uh, Amina, thanks so much for joining us today. Perhaps if you can elaborate as to what phytotherapy is. Thank you very much for having me. It's a great pleasure to be talking to you. Um, to begin with, I think before I go into phytotherapy per se, I think we could look at uh, the contribution of medicinal plants because as you know, medicinal plants is at the basis of modern medicine and this also encompasses the traditional knowledge that we in Africa can be proud of. And 60% uh, of medicine actually sold in the chemist shop uh, we have 25% which comes straight from medicinal plants. But unfortunately, uh, if you look at the law of, uh, of, the, of the potential, in fact, the, the weight in terms of dollar for this sector, we're talking about 60 billion US dollars in terms of weight economically. But Africa, unfortunately, in spite of her diversity, I must say the African continent contributes 25% of the plant genetic resources uh, globally. Africa only contributes 83 of the 1,100 uh, blockbusters of, of, of medicines which are sold in the shop. So I think the, the, if we go back to the question you've asked, what is phytotherapy? Okay, phytotherapy is the treatment uh, based on, on plant-based resources, but unfortunately Africa is lagging behind for many reasons, and one of the reasons is precisely because of her history. Uh, not much uh, importance has been given to traditional knowledge, unlike China and, Af and Asia, in India especially, where they've had full government support to actually valorize and uh, really consider seriously the input of herbal knowledge in, in the sector. So if we manage to actually look into this very seriously, we can make a significant contribution to this very sector. And one area that has to be looked into is the issue of documentation. You know, documentation of traditional knowledge. In, in Africa, we say that when an elderly person passes on, we have burnt one library. So documentation has been my priority. Documentation of the traditional knowledge that leads precisely to phytotherapy has been a key focus of my research. I mean, it's interesting that Mauritius, uh, being a small country uh, in, in land space, would be focusing on this area. Is it a reflection of the diversity that you have of plants on the island, or is it because of the opportunity that you're seeing? You know, Mauritius, just like many parts of South Africa, for example, the Finbos region, we constitute one of the 26 uh, hotspots of biodiversity globally. So it's a question of capitalizing on what we're good at and what we have. And one of our assets is precisely this rare, uh, unique plant. Now, if you look at uh, uh, the WHO figures, it says that 80% of the world's population depend on traditional medicine for their primary health care. Now, if we look at the emergence of uh, the, the developed world for this sector, we have a huge potential market. So Africa and uh, islands like Mauritius, we, have, we are very rich in biodiversity. So I think it's a question of uh, looking at our strength to address the sector which is which is getting very very important now we look at the greening of the economy we're looking at ingredient we're looking at um, a cosmetic ingredient food ingredient the green sector which is being pushed by the consumer we are looking at a very very important component of the industry but unfortunately just like many uh, African countries and that includes Mauritius we haven't really taken this very seriously but now is a time because the demand is coming from the consumer that was Amina Gurib Fakim fascinating subject. She's Professor and Managing Director of the Centre.